I'm watching you too. Guys, we have something special today. We're giving you three mid-sized trucks, and what we want to do is accentuate, show you what each one of their high capabilities are, what they can do best. Yes, we do have a Jeep Gladiator, brand new. We do have a new 2020 Honda Ridgeline, and of course, the 2020 Ford Ranger. And how about we do tests? Okay. Drag race. Sounds good. Very proper with zero to 60s. Uh-huh. Okay, a little bit of fuel efficiency run. Yes, that sounds great. Now, many of you may consider the Honda Ridgeline not a pickup truck, but what we like to call it is a utility pickup. That's because it's sort of a sports utility vehicle that has a pickup rear end. Dude, it has a bed. In my book, it's a truck. Yeah. And it's brand new for 2020 with a nine-speed automatic. Pop the hood, dude. Let's look at the engine. Ah, here it is. This is a very familiar engine that Honda's been using for many, many years, in fact. Um, it's Earth Dreams. Earth Dreams. Yeah, baby. And that nine-speed automatic transmission, well, they did the same thing with the Honda Pilot, and it really did wake up both efficiency and performance. Yes, and this is a 280 horsepower rating with 262 pound-feet of torque, and of course, all-wheel drive. Right, it is front-wheel drive bikes, and you can buy one of these with front-wheel drive. Yeah, but why would you? Nah, I wouldn't. Yes, we know that the Jeep Gladiator has been out for just a little while, but it's still one of the newest amongst the mid-sized trucks that are out there. And so we brought one, and it looks badass, doesn't it? Hell yeah, it looks badass. And if the Ridgeline is the most street-worthy truck out there, the Rubicon here is the most off-road worthy. But actually, their powertrains are very, very similar. This is a 3.6 liter versus a 3.5 liter V6 there. 285 horsepower here, 260 pound-feet of torque here, but this is an 8-speed. It is an 8-speed, and this is also a rear-drive bias vehicle, so it has a proper setup in terms of where the engine is, the transmission going to a rear axle. And it's also got giant solid axles front and rear. All right, now it's time for me to hop in the Ridgeline and for Andre to hop in this thing, and we'll see which one's faster. Okay, traction control disabled. I'm in two-wheel drive right now for the first drag race. I'm also gonna do zero to 60s, so we can do that as well. I have the traction control off. I have it in sport mode, and I also shut off the auto start. It doesn't let you rev much. It goes up to like 1700 RPM. I'm gonna brake torque it just a hair and launch this puppy. A little spin of the tires, and I'm away. A little bit of a pause there, but I should be able to pass him. I, this thing is a lot quicker. No! No! No, what? Wow, um, 10.25 is my time. <laughs> you know, I was a little asleep at the line, but I still beat you. I know, I had a good start. Yeah. Just a chirp of the tire. I heard that. And then, and then you just passed me. This thing is geared in a very interesting way. It drops just a little tiny bit, but then it really starts to fly. Okay. Should we do it again? Swap? Yeah. Let's swap. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing, we're at IMI Motorsports in Decano, Colorado. And you can rent go-karts on the track, you can do drifting on the track, and they have an off-road area where you can take your side-by-side -side or motorcycle and bash around in the dirt. Let it hurt. Alrighty, I'm in the Honda. This should be quite a bit faster. Ooh, guys, Andre's wallet. Going on eBay next week. <laughs> yeah. No, don't. That's my wallet. No, sorry, I can't hear you. Just can't hear you. My windows are too, the sound deadening's good. No, 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 eBay. This is eBay. Don't use my wallet. 
<laughs> He's terrified. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm watching YouTube. That's right, punk. There you go. Yeah. So, um, here he comes. Ooh, okay. VTEC. Come on, VTEC. There he goes. And there he goes. So, I still got a good start. Okay, that wasn't too bad. 8.21. That's dramatically quicker than the Jeep. So I didn't rev it quite as much as you because I didn't want to spin my tires and I, and I managed not to and I still got a good start. Okay. But that thing's quick. Yeah, I, I had a tiny, tiny delay. Something happened. Yeah. Maybe it's like software or something. I think it's the transmission. It's not the power, it's not the engine. No. The transmission has to think, okay, this is what you're doing. Okay, I'll let you do it. Because I don't think it likes brake torquing very much. No, it doesn't. But I still had a great time, 8.2. It's pretty quick. That was 10 seconds. So let's see what happens with the Ford, huh? Yes. Andre, this vehicle splits the difference between the two in terms of overall power in terms of off-road ability in terms of everything and it's one of the newest in terms of tech so if the ford ranger racing in the final race i predict it's going to do very well well let's look under the hood because we know already that the ridge line is quick i was a little bit surprised but this is a whole different animal this is a four cylinder but it's turbocharged 270 horsepower but 310 pound-feet of torque, so way more torque than the V6 engines. A little bit less horsepower, but a 10 speed behind this. And it is a proper front engine rear drive layout. It has four-wheel drive, but today <laughs> I predict that this thing is going to be a screamer. So far, this has been one of the fastest mid-sized trucks I've driven. Back in the Honda Ridgeline, this time versus Ford. Okay, so here's my theory with the Ford Ranger. It's on paper, for capability-wise, somewhere in the middle. If the Honda Ridgeline is more street-focused and the Jeep is more pure off-road-focused, somewhere in the middle for its overall capability. But it has a secret weapon, and its secret weapon is the turbocharged engine and we are at approximately at one mile above sea level and i am going to use four wheel drive high right now i'm going to use sport transmission mode and traction control disabled so i can brake torque it just a hair yeah there's that it's like this imperceptible little lag. Holy cow. I think I kind of jumped. He absolutely thrashed me. 7.67. Uh, that is a very quick time for any truck. I think I jumped a little. We should try it again, but I, there's no way I'm going to be able to even come close to beating it. This thing is ridiculously fast. Well, it's got a turbocharger, so it does help it quite a lot. It's basically a Mustang engine. Yeah. <laughs> Andre, be smug. We're eventually going to switch. You may be asking yourself, why isn't Nissan, Chevy, and Toyota represented? And GMC for that matter. Very simple. There's nothing new with those vehicles currently. They don't have new transmissions, they're not brand new. 
there's nothing there. So we couldn't bring them in and compare them. And honestly, it's really hard to get that many vehicles together at one time. But here's the good news. In the near future, we know that Nissan's gonna have a new engine and hopefully there's gonna be some updates to the other ones. All right, so for fairness, we're swapping trucks again. I'm back in the Ridgeline. Nathan is now in the Ford. How does he drive like this? It's crazy. I know Nathan is playing with his settings, but I think I'm gonna try just flat footing the Ridgeline without much brake torquing. Let the computer kind of figure that out. By the way, I don't know how you can sit and drive. I, honestly, your seating position is the most uncomfortable thing in the world. It's pain, it's, it's like reverse yoga. <laughs> Bye. Oh god, it's just like a scalded cat. Okay, I had a decent start. <laughs> that wasn't even that good of a start, and I spanked you like a red-headed stepchild. That looked good to me. It wasn't that good. It was mediocre. Okay, we figured it out. Okay, that, that four-cylinder is fast. Did you get a zero to 60 time on this? What was it? 7.6. Now that's fast by car standards. Yes. Yeah, I told you this thing was fast. And it's red, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we know which truck is the quickest, but which is the most fuel efficient. Well, the government, the EPA, rates all these trucks, and the Jeep has a combined rating of 19 MPG, the Honda has a combined rating of 21, and the Ford Ranger has a combined rating of 22. But what is it like in the real world? Nathan, what do you say we reset the trip meters and go to the office and see what's what? Hell yeah! Looks like I'm the only one that has economy boats, so I'm going to use it. It should help me with my MPG. Guys, this is real world. My trip meter says 22 miles that I went and 20.6 MPG is on my trip meter right now. Huzzah! 27.5 MPG. According to this, just over 22 miles to get back to work. Yeah, that's really good. That's better, way better than I expected. Now bear in mind, this was mostly highway driving. There was a little tiny bit of stop and go, but not much. So that's as good as it gets. And remember, I was in economy mode. Dude, the Ranger is showing the same distance, 22.1 miles, yeah. which is good. 26.7. Damn, that's almost as good as the Honda. But not better. No, not better. No. So basically the Honda took it. Yes. This is second and the Jeep is third. And that's pretty damn obvious that was going to happen. Yeah, just look at those tires on the Jeep, dude. Look at the tires on the Honda, <laughs> street tires. Dude, so I learned that the new nine speed on the Ridgeline actually helps a lot. Yeah, both the performance and with efficiency. Yeah, I was really surprised by that real world number from the trip meter. And all three of these trucks, if you can figure them this way, crew caps, four wheel drive, they start at around 32, maybe ish, low 30s. But what about the as tested prices? Well, the Honda Ridgeline comes in at $43,140. Really? That's the RTL-E. Mm -hmm. That's almost top of the line. Almost. Yes, yeah, so the Ranger is also top of the line. This is the FX4 Lariat crew cab 4x4 at 46,910. Wow. But the Jeep Rubicon almost fully loaded just without the steel bumpers, 55,000. Damn. So you got to decide for yourself. Are you more of a city driver? Maybe the Honda is best for you. Uh, maybe somewhere in between for the Ranger, right? And if you want to take the top off, and go f hardcore four-wheeling, maybe it's the Rubicon. I hope to see that in the future. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real-world truck reviews.